Now, the driver charged in a wrong way crash that claimed five young lives is back behind bars after initially being released. Local 10's Ian Margul is live now with the courthouse where that suspect faced the victim's families today. Ian. So initially, Mikey Simeon was given a $50,000 bond and was put on house arrest. However, today, the prosecutors argued he should be put back in jail until his trial begins, and the judge agreed. He is not a citizen. Whether or not he has his papers or not, his passport or not, that doesn't stop a person from fleeing this country and, and evading prosecution. In a Miami-Dade courtroom Tuesday, prosecutors argued Mikey Simeon should be put on pretrial detention, meaning he would go back behind bars after he was initially given a bond and put on house arrest. Back in August, police say Simeon was driving the wrong way on the Palmetto Expressway with a blood alcohol level well over the legal limit and doing 80 miles per hour when he plowed head on into a car, killing the five young people inside. They were wonderful kids full of dreams that they won't be able to accomplish. With dozens of the victim's family members in the courtroom, Simeon sat in his wheelchair, the only survivor of the crash, as his attorney tried to convince the judge to allow him to remain on house arrest. He's not going anywhere. He has surrendered his passport to the clerk's office. He doesn't have any travel documents whatsoever. He does have good family support. But the judge disagreed, ordering he be put on pretrial detention. Pretrial detention is granted. I find that and the courtroom erupted with applause from the families. I'm glad that uh, at least um, justice is beginning to work. The system is working. And those families were very emotional both inside the courtroom and afterward. Simeon is now back in custody. He will remain behind bars until that trial begins. Live in Miami, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News.